Every now and then, I have dreams of going about my normal life, going to work, coming back and relaxing, and then suddenly, in unison, anyone and everyone around me quietly whispers, Dun 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 dun, in my ear. It's enough to wake me up in a pool of sweat, frantically hoping, trying to remember, that deathcore is practically non-existent at this point. It's a problem that therapy can only do so much for. In all seriousness, this is one of the worst albums I've ever heard. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Stream the record, or God forbid you own the record, take it for a spin, then wherever you are in the runtime, skip to a different track. It's almost certain you will think it's the same song. Monotony is abound in this record, plentiful and potent. Nothing feels different, all these songs have the same makeup, and only one differentiates itself in any way, and that's because it's an interlude. All of them are consistent to a fault. There is no dynamics to this record. It really does hurt to listen to. On technical aspects, the guitarists and bassists are fine. They play well enough, and despite using what sounds like electric drums, the drummer is good too. Ali Sykes is the main problem here. His screaming is god-awful, and the tonality of it is so bad, I'd be happy for them to just go back to the more metalcore screaming of the EP. Then there's the lyrics, uh, <laughs> if, if there ever was a definition of nice guy lyrics, uh, this is up there. Here's a few examples of the lyrical genius on show here. I'm not even going to analyze it, I think it speaks for itself. You've got a mouth like a razor blade, it cuts me so deep, <laughs> so kiss my wrists and my neck, give me eternal sleep. <laughs> So tonally, maybe Count Your Blessings was redeems. I mean, the musicality is one thing, but the production could be on a higher level. It's not. It's dog shit muddy and nothing stands out. The songwriting, in fact, synthesizes so well with the production because they're essentially one and the same. There really is no merit to the production, but then look <laughs> look at what album the producer was working with. Then that one redeeming song comes, and you couldn't be more surprised, nor happy. How this managed to be crafted by the same band that made such artistic statements as putting porno audio at the end of their first single, who knows, but this one song almost restored my faith in humanity, and that people can change. However, and I guess this is probably a good place to end this, Count Your Blessings does not change. It, in almost its whole run, it refuses to change. 
talk about a massive waste of one song and one really badass cover art. Deathcore exited pretty much as it entered, but the stain on Bring Me the Horizon's career that is their first record, that will always remain. This is easily one of the worst records I have ever listened to, so thanks for that, Bring Me the Horizon.